David Richardson reports. I'm emotionally exhausted now. Oh, we were very tense and nervous. The whole family. You've got no idea. I don't know how she copes with it. A mighty roar surrounds the stadium. Sometimes, you know, you feel like you're all alone because you are the one, ultimately, who's out there doing the, doing the thing, doing the sport, doing the running or whatever it is that you're doing. It seems it was just destined to be. Australia's most popular female athlete becoming the first Aussie to win a track gold medal in 12 years capping off the most incredible period of her life. Mary, this is a famous victory, a magnificent performance. Last night, what big night, legend. big night. What a amazing. What a One of the happiest moments of, of my life, actually. I don't know if it gets any better than this. Uh, it'll, be, it'll have to be very, very... It'll, it'll have to be really something phenomenal to, be, to make it any better than this. So down the back, Cathy, three from the left. Graham's gone With 112,000 screaming Even fans in the stadium pushing her towards the line, flashlights the almost you turned the Graham night to day. This is where Cathy exploded in Atlanta. Graham's in front of her. It was amazing. Um, the crowd lifted me and just made me feel, made me feel so strong. Uh, I was thinking about her dream coming true. It's pretty hard to describe how you feel when your wife and the person you love more than anything else wins. Kathy's husband, Sandy Bodecker. It's the best feeling I've ever had other than getting married. <laughs> I think it's possibly worse going as an overwhelming favourite because if you lose, you're gone. <laughs> Her coach, Peter Fortune, and his star athlete are far from gone. They're the toast of the world. She even asked if she could do a, a, you know, a, a victory lap, which is, I think she's probably the first athlete that's ever asked permission to do a victory lap, especially in Kathy Freeman in Australia. I think it's, that's a sign of what, she, what the way she is. Sitting up in the stand, watching, and it was exciting, yelling along with everybody else. Lady Cuthbert became the first woman to win this new Olympic event. The person who knows exactly what Cathy is feeling today is Betty Cuthbert, the last Australian woman to win this event in Tokyo 1964. Line, 30 metres to go, Betty Cuthbert might get a fourth gold medal. By God, she's going to win it. Betty Cuthbert gets there. From I think, did I ever do that? It seems a long, long way. It's her home, Dan. Look at her. It took 36 years goes. for another Aussie girl to stand that tall. Cecilia, that girl is today Cathy Freeman. Cathy Freeman. I really admire Golf her to be able to take so much on her shoulders. The, well, the whole of Australia and um, to live up to expectations. If Cathy Freeman was an icon to her own people before her win, she's now a national icon. A young woman armed with brutal honesty and a wide smile who with her simplicity and enthusiasm has endeared herself to her country, perhaps forever. She'll always be remembered. She'll always be remembered in every game, I really feel. What message would you like to pass on to Cathy? Well, just do what you're doing, girl. We love you very much.